Carlos Ramirez, owner of MBS Audio, Roselle, New Jersey. So Chris trailered his bike. He took the 24-hour trip from uh, Texas to New Jersey to get the audio upgrade on his bike. And since he was taking the trip, he decided to bring his son's bike up too. So his son's got a brand new road glide, um, nothing done to it. Chris's, Chris's bike, that story's a little more complicated. He had the bike built by a really good bike builder. Um, he wanted the bike builder to ship me the bike through the audio while the builder handled the rest of the build. The, the builder insisted on doing everything. So Chris was not happy with the audio part. The bike is phenomenal, the bike looks great. Um, everything else on the bike is great. There's a few things that I would have did differently as far as the electronics, but as far as the build, the paint was beautiful, the way it was put together, the big wheel in the front, everything was great. Just the audio wasn't what he wanted, didn't sound the way he wanted. Um, had to take the seat off to take the saddlebags off because the way they laid the quick disconnects. So we're really good in audio because we specialize in audio and audio is the only thing that we do. So um, after he had the bike, he didn't even have the bike a couple of months. He wanted to come to us originally. So he just bit the bullet and took the trip. Uh, he booked his appointment months in advance and he actually stayed here for a week while we put together both bikes. We were originally going to do a four speaker setup on his son's bike and a eight speaker setup on Chris's bike. After he listened to a few bikes, he upgraded his install to the high power and then he ended up doing a stage three in his son's bike, which ended up being six speakers with eights in the back, with uh, eight inch mid bass drivers in the back. Um, he figured he took the time away from work and he took the trip across the country. He might as well do it once and do it right. So uh, after listening to a few bikes, he decided on what sound he wanted for his son's bike and which sound he wanted for his bike. So uh, he watched the entire build. He, he got the quality that he was looking for and the quality he expected from us and most importantly, the sound. So uh, a few times while we were tuning the bike, it was actually too loud for him and he had to step away and get his uh, hearing protection. So that's pretty cool. Uh, in the end, we ended up delivering a product that sounded good look good, fit good, weatherproof. The bike came with 7.7-inch uh, lids. Obviously, JL Audio is the only company that makes 7.7-inch speakers, and he wasn't happy with the output of the JL Audio speakers. So on the laser, we made acrylic adapter plates to reduce the 7.7-inch hole to a 6.5-inch hole, and then we finished it off in gloss black acrylic so it looked good. It took up the space, and it looked good. Um, and it's a perfect finish. I dialed it in. I ran a few different patterns till I got it to fit perfectly. Um, we ended up going on Chris's bike. We ended up going with uh, Cicada CMs in the fairing, the horn loaded compression driver and the full replacement grills, HK Mini DSP, NVS Audio T harness, all stinger wiring, Braille battery, 1600.1 in the fairing, 1200.4 in the fairing, Lex rack to accommodate both these amplifiers. No amplifiers in the tour pack. And then something really unique, he had two different tour packs on the bike. So when he goes out of town and needs more storage space, he's got the larger tour pack, which has the speaker pods for the six and a halves. When he's around town locally, he has the other tour pack, which has the eight inch drivers built in, has less storage space. So um, both tour packs are custom painted to match the bikes. And then we built them quick disconnects to where both tour packs plugged in behind the seat and you can easily swap between one or the other. We used um, Hertz 200 Neos in the lids with ST25 horns. In the other tour pack we used Hertz SX165s and in the lids we used Cicada CM 6.5s. In the bags we used Cicada Carbon mid Base 8s and the bike sounds phenomenal. On um, his son's bike, we opted to go with a full, actually he opted to go with a full Cicada setup. So we did the Cicada CHs in the fairing. We did the Hertz SX165 in the tour pack pods because they fit the best and I just love the, the sound of the Hertz SX165s in factory tour pack pods. We did Hertz, we did a uh, Cicada CM 6x9s in the lids and we did the Cicada 8-inch mid base driver, carbon fiber, in the saddlebags. We did an 804 to power the mids. We tried to do an 804 to power the 8s and it just wasn't enough power. 
So we upgraded to the new Sound Digital 1000.1 Evo X2, and that did the trick. That got us the right amount of bass to keep up with all those mids. Um, upgraded that battery to a Braille as well. All stinger wiring, each Academy DSP, and the SOT harness. But um, both bikes came out phenomenal. Chris was very, very happy. He's happy he took the trip. We're, we're happy to have him. It was a pleasure dealing with him. He hung out with us the entire week. And uh, he definitely misses home because the roads in New Jersey suck. The drivers in New Jersey suck. And uh, he, he just couldn't wait to get back home. It's kind of crazy out here for him. But um, here, check out the build. Yep, common problem we see, they cut the factory radio harness and spliced into them. And then they're using cheap speaker wire. So now we're gonna have to repair the harnesses, put it back to factory. That way we have our factory speaker plugs. That way our T harness works properly. Hate it when people do this. Okay, so we got her stripped down. All the old wiring's pulled out. This is a really, really beautiful build, but that's driving me crazy. They could have put that in a better location. All this custom paint to throw giant air ride switches. It's the only thing I don't like about the build. I think the bike looks phenomenal. I think the paintwork is perfect. This is a really good looking bike. The stitching is great. It's just the wiring leaves a lot to be desired. Everything's wired properly, but there's no protection on the wire at all. It's just bare raw wire. It's all soldered, it's all done right, but they could have cleaned that up. It is a pretty bike, should have made the wiring pretty too. But we're gonna fix it. Got the tour pack to match. Okay, the factory harness has been repaired. Factory speaker plugs are back in place. T harness for our DSP. There's our Lex rack with a 1600.1 and a 1200.4. There's our HKI Mini DSP. Everything is nice, neat, serviceable. Cicada CHs in the fairing. All our harnesses nice and neat down the backbone. There's our distribution block on the brake side. As you can see, the amps have been removed from the saddlebag, so all the wiring has been removed and everything's nice and clean and serviceable. Our quick disconnects are gonna end up here. We're gonna cover up all this, that's the next step. And we're upgrading the battery. This bike was never touched, so all the wiring is new and clean. There's our fuse block side cover. This one's getting a stage three. There's our one 800.4. The other 800.4 is under the radio. There's our T harness. Nice, quick, clean install. All our wires are in the backbone already. And here's where the quick disconnect's gonna go. Okay, so the next challenge on this bike was it came with seven inch lids. These are custom made for JL Audio seven inch speakers. So obviously JL Audio is the only company to make 7.7, 8.8 8 inch speakers. So we had to make an adapter for the Cicada six inch. So we cut a waterproof ABS ring on the laser and then that's gonna mount the speaker and the speaker to the lid. Then we align that. But now we have that ugly gap so on the laser again, I machined a flush ring out of uh, black acrylic. So it takes up that gap and it's a perfect fit between the grill, the speaker. Um, this is black acrylic. I just have the protective paper on there and it looks beautiful. 
problem solved. Has two tour packs, so we have to tune for each. That one, and that one. 
So that's his audio tour pack. This is his traveling tour pack. We installed quick disconnects for both. So now he has all his storage space for traveling. And that one when he wants to make it loud. some dreams and said some things to you If I said too much, I know you're mine to lose I had some dreams and said some things to you Thank you. 
set ready to go quick disconnects for the saddlebags all the air ride wiring is taped up and protected oh the tour pack is on she's ready to go home everything accessible and serviceable Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. Chris took the 24-hour trip from Texas to New Jersey to get the audio upgraded on his bike and on his son's bike. How's it sound, Chris? Perfect. Best best bike builder around. Thank Stereo. you, sir. <laughs> Completely happy? Yes. Awesome. Very much so.